Well, um, it's benefited me enormously in the sense that uh, what I do uh, is targeted towards not only members of the profession, my profession, the academic area, but also to the public in general. And um, having published a number of papers in op open access, uh, the, the audience that you reach is far, far greater than you would reach in a, um, say, a professional society journal that doesn't have open access. So if your interest is to um, get your work better known in the larger community of both scholars and non-scholars, I think open access is the way to go. Well, we got started by, I was invited to the um, initiate, the inaugural meeting supporting the um, uh, uh, Nutrition and Metabolism, uh, which is a, bi a Biomed Central journal. And uh, it was new to me at that time. That was back in, in 2002, I believe. And at that time, we didn't know much about open access. So I, I was very pleasantly impressed with how um, the work that we presented at that meeting uh, was um, uh, published in the open access uh, Biomed Central uh, at that time. I thought that was a, it was a, a very well uh, organized journal that was pleasing to the eye. The data um, uh, charts and graphs were done exceptionally well and uh, the paper received a tremendous amount of recognition. So that was my initial it was Nutrition and Metabolism. Our first paper was 2004. And since then, we've published several more papers in, in other open access journals. Well, um, it depends on who on the faculty you speak to. And it depends on what faculty that you speak to. Um, we don't have a medical school at Boston College. Um, some, some of the Older uh, professors and professionals uh, will sometimes discourage younger faculty from publishing open access because these open access journals are not held in the same esteem as some of the long traditional society journals. As a matter of fact, um, younger professors, not only, I'm not so sure about Boston College, but many, many schools uh, discourage strongly young faculty from pu publishing open access because they feel this doesn't allow the prestige that you would have uh, in, in, in the more uh, established society journals. And this is primarily for uh, promotion and grants. So if grant reviewers or the promotion uh, committee sees uh, open access versus society journals, um, they'll figure that, well, th this is an easier course than going through the society journal. So, um, and this is unfortunate because, because they're essentially discouraging young faculty from getting their work to a, a broader audience just so that they can uh, be viewed as having uh, accomplished more or having their work considered more prestigious by the professionals in the field who adhere to the society journals. So as a professor, and I don't have to worry about that anymore, I prefer open access because I don't care what these others think any longer. It's no, it's no longer relevant to me. But the issue of getting the, the work recognized by a far greater audience, that to me is more important. Well, I mean, the Open Access Fund has been essential for us. I mean, we've published several papers with the Open Access Fund here at Boston College. You know, as I said, I, I, I may not have been able to um, afford those, those publication charges uh, if it weren't for the fund at Boston College, and therefore I would have had to publish these papers in society journals, which would have been very prestigious, but they wouldn't have targeted the broader, the broader audience. So the open access fund that we have here is an unbelievable uh, resource that not all universities have. Many medical schools do not have this kind of a fund. So you have to get those monies off of your federally sponsored projects, which takes away then funds 
from uh, reagents and supplies or salary support for those technicians that are working with you. So BC makes it very uh, easy for us to do this. And I also think if you're in the, in the business of wanting the research of your faculty be, to be seen by a broad audience, then the support from their funding, uh, open access fund, is definitely uh, a, a, an excellent uh, resource for, for us. So I've, I've benefited tremendously from this.